We here in the building, yep, yay. On Power 108 foot nine. Hey, what's up everybody? Happy hunt day, you guys. Eight to ten, we do it again and again and again. It's T Marie Radio Show right here in the building. Hey Q. Hey T. How you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. How are you? You looking real savage with your chest out over there though in that cross. And it's 45 <laughs> degrees out there. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Go ahead and do me a favor and share this page, uh, our page, Thank share you. the show page, go to Power 108.9 and catch us there. And let me go ahead and shout out my new people at at and <laughs> Got to shout them out over in Lawrenceville. We're gonna, hopefully, we can get some more stuff going on with them. But they hooked your girl Almost up with phones. the doggone phone. I'm here. If y'all seeing me clear, it's because I'm on that Galaxy S10. <laughs> so, I'm real clear It today. still ain't charged, so it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're doing? We That's what we're doing? We did it because you didn't give me one. <laughs> you said you know like I like this shit. I, I sound know. like your kids. <laughs> anyway, awesome show today. We got R&B legend. In the building, yeah, Sandy. Yes, like yeah, for real. Twenty he, years in the game. Since what? Twelve? Yeah. Like ten or twelve, somewhere like God. Lady. So we're gonna see how he developed. I want to hear one of his old songs compared to his songs now. Maybe we should go out with that because I want to see if people remember who Sammy is and then who he's become. Yes. So we need to talk absolutely. about that. And we got some good sh coming in the headlines. Q. I can't wait till you talk about that. Jesse, how the hell did he do that? I know he got R. Kelly right now calling him, talking about who can I talk to that you Who's going to represent me? Right? That's crazy. So we're going to talk about that. And I got the dope question of the day. That thing had my darn timeline off the chain. And shout out to Michael and Natasha for that dope interview. People are waiting for the whole big show. I got so many comments and, and watches and views off of that. So thank you so much. Uh, go to uh, the PowerBook. You can actually go to nomoreboyfriends.com. Catch that interview also on my page appreciate that Absolutely. okay and anything you want to say cute nope no nah, you quiet and sleepy you have to wake up bro i am i'm waiting on that shot oh uh, so when we come back we're gonna take a little quick break come back with some headlines but we're gonna be shot up and much liver it's t marie radio show right here on power one eight point nine you guys keep it locked oh i remember that oh y'all uh, can't hear it you can't hear it they can't. Um, Can you turn this up a little bit? Mm. Can y'all hear it? A little piece of the old, old school Sammy. Sammy. Wow. <laughs> how, how many of you guys remember Sammy from back in the day? Like, he's still doing... Listen to it. I remember his first video. What was the it? Box. It was that this was the, one. That was the thing called on the box. It was music okay. television you control. <laughs> like, this is, look, this was actually the first CD I got. Wow. We had went to Beth, Circuit City. We had went to Circuit City in Cleveland. Okay. My parents had got me this brand new. I'm going to tell the story later when you hear it. Yeah, well, I, yeah. Oh, my God. So, who remembers Sammy, you guys? Go ahead and Google him. You guys will be like, oh, I remember him. So, he's going to be in the building because he's got some new stuff going on. Looking like a real grown man. Yeah. I saw this little fucking I'm jealous, though. Like that a real little, little okay, piece gold of, tea. Piece of, of, people can't even grow that Gold tea. Gold tea. <laughs> Oh, I thought I heard an L. L, 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 L <laughs> gold T. <laughs> no. Shut your ass up. You know what I damn said? That ain't no gold T. Hey, yeah, uh, you know, I'll mess okay, up a word. Baby, I, I will you. mess up a word in a heart beat. You guys go ahead and share this. Hey, Tina Bridges. Heart to, beat. What did I say? Is that what I said? You said right? it correctly. Okay. Uh, Tina, we're going to see you in a couple weeks, my dear. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Hey, Kendall and Omar and Roderick and Shannon and Jalen, Scotty, Buffy, Tracy, Robert, Terrence, and Anthony Benson. Let's see. You want to flip it over? I want to get it straight. Did you get it straight? Hey, uh, oh, that's better. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Oh, because that's on that side. Oh, yeah. That's better, though. Well, I know y'all can't see me because that big denim arm all in the way, but she, you know, what do I say? You know what? <laughs> Ain't nobody got time but you. <laughs> big old denim arm all in the dark no way. Take, what? I knew it was going to come a point in this show. What? Where I was going to need this. Because the night you're going to butter me up. Nigga. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to sharpen it up on the end of the table. That's going to be the worst cut ever. I'm shank you. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so terrible. And painful. 
Hey, Thank you guys for tuning in. Everybody that's tuning awesome. in. Y'all want to come on the show, hit me up. Awesome. Y'all rock. Y'all like, y'all really rock. Like, seriously. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes. Who's sharing? Who's sharing? Y'all got questions? Oh, so the question of the day had my timeline. Stupid. I can't wait to talk about this. Mm -hmm. Hope we can talk about it too. Michael can talk about it. I need... Eddie can talk about it. Yes. Talk I about need it. another woman to talk about, talk about it. it. Of course you can. What was it? Cause you post a lot of shit. I do. I know. This was Definitely. the question of the day is oh, when is the appropriate time to stop entertaining mm -hmm. others when you start pursuing someone or get into a relationship? Mm. We'll talk about it. Did you say never? Oh, <laughs> what is your relationship status? Not exist. Alone. Uh, it's okay though. Are you sure? You know we'll come back with headlines, Q. <laughs> come back with headlines. You, you got it. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> you always got them. Give me a second. We're back, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. It's Power 108.9 and T. Marie Radio Show We're on Power 108.9. Thank I, you for tuning I that, in. But I said that backwards. What? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm going to relax today because oh, yeah, I'm going to get exactly. me a shot of something in a minute. But thank you guys nope. for tuning in. Hey, Chrissy, go ahead and share the page. Go ahead and do the share. Thank you guys. We really appreciate you tuning in. So we're going to do a little headlines. Just a little bit. Are you ready for this? I think I am. It's about to be off the chain. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. The oh, moment that we all, as a oh, believer, have been waiting what for. What you talk about? Jesse Smollett. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are a free man. <laughs> Officially, but your ten thousand dollars broker, but you're a free man. Invested. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Invested. Invested. What you mean? Because I feel, <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. I feel as if <laughs> that, played a, that played a little part in him getting a little bit freer. Ten thousand dollars. Yeah, they just said we, we let me take. It's like you know, we know you lied, but we're gonna keep the coins. That's crazy as hell. So, um, <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> Um, Chicago's mayor and police chief mm -hmm. prosecu and prosecutors mm -hmm. abruptly dropped the case against Jesse Smollett. Now, this man had 16 counts. Right. Okay, 16. All of them dropped. Like, not guilty on none. Right. No charge at all. But I they kept it $10,000. <laughs> they like, look, we don't believe you, but we're going to keep your money. But we got to release you. What do you think? led up to that like if you had to come to a conclusion what do you think it was that made them drop charges so let me tell you what i think it was that allowed them to start this and file those charges okay. in the first place okay i feel that chicago's police department is a joke oh personally one is song. okay <laughs> oh yeah 911 <laughs> is a joke yeah. in your town <laughs> and chicago. that town is chicago <laughs> exactly so i feel that because of everything that was going on with R. Kelly, because everything that's been going on with a lot of other situations, you know, Chicago's police force has, you know what, <laughs> Chicago's police force ain't been taken seriously since Carl Winslow was <laughs> Now, I'm te like, for real. <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> and y'all know Carl Winslow been on the... You know what? For long. And for those of you who don't know, Carl Winslow oh is God. the father on Family Matters, <laughs> the show that premiered in the 80s. Ooh, that means it's been a minute. But all of that stuff been going on, y'all ain't heard of nothing positive. The only positive yeah. thing that's come out of Chicago was Barack Obama, mm -hmm. Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, when it's come to cases, like, they, they've been taken as a joke because mm -hmm. they haven't been serious. 20 plus years. R. Kelly situation right. has been in the news. Right. It's the city of Chicago and everything is going on that they the people that they have mm -hmm. in charge that have allowed this man to go free for all of these years. Right. So I felt like they wanted to make a good job. I felt like they <laughs> wanted to make a um a, a, a case? No, not a case, but like ugh, damn. A statement? Yes. Um, that's it. See, statement? you got me. Sometimes they I'm wanted to make you. a statement mm -hmm. and they use Jesse as that. Right. To say, hey, let me show y'all. That we could do something. Yeah, too. we could do something. But here's the thing. He still didn't go to jail. Yeah. Guilty here's the or part. not. Because for one thing, let me just be let y'all know how I feel. I think Jesse is guilty. Okay, let, let me say that. I believe he's guilty. I, I believe he did. And what he did do is have God on his side. 
Because when I really we do, pray for him. Um, we pray for I, you, Justin. I, I ain't gonna necessarily say that. I always pray for the the outcome be whatever God's will is. Okay, so if that was for him to be free, then cool, whatever. But I do believe he did it. Now, what I also believe is that the Chicago police was trying so hard to make a case that they had a whole lot of missteps and there was some things that they did wrong and they probably found out that there were some things that they did wrong and if they tried to prosecute him on some of the ways they got the information that it was really not going to be able to stick and it was going to expose them even more so because they were trying so diligently to make him guilty and, and trying to rush it. This, look how quick they took him to the grand jury and all the information they got. I mean all this stuff happened so fast. Because they really wanted to make a Not case out of this person. 16 who, counts. Which what? Is like, this is so extreme. That's extreme. Let's be clear. And so with that, they they looked like a joke from that part. If right. they would have been patient and allowed it to come together the way it needed to, then Jesse would have, the I mean, whatever he did, which he did that, would have happened. And I told you why I said I, I believe he was lying. And why is that? Because out of the whole statement when Justin was talking about, he looked down and realized the noose was on his neck. Now, nah, fool, if the noose was on your neck, you ain't got to look down and realize that. That's one. Yeah, you feel something heavy. Oh, your neck, neck. It's yeah. either nuts or a rope. So if it's what nuts, it's a rope. So secondly. Why would some nuts be on your neck? Nuts is Justin. So secondly. Why would they be on your neck? I don't know. Though. But the second Forehead. Thing, <laughs> neck. Forehead, yes. What's neck. Nuts? Why? New Why is it new? <laughs> it's new. But the second thing is when this fool said they said MAGA country. Who says MAGA country? MAGA supporters. No! That sounds like some over dramatic over dramatic, over dramatic empire role shit that he done practice. <laughs> you you mess with the empire. You know how they have all this extra dramatic stuff that they say that you be like, nah, you know what, y'all went too far. So that's what it was. That's what it was. Nobody says mega country. So Lee while Dan, I'm Lee beating your ass, help him write that script. Then, and then you talk about you realize you had bleach on you after you got home. Do you know how strong the smell of bleach is, bitch? You know you got <laughs> bleach on you as soon as it get on your face. And neck well, and maybe when they knocked him out, you know he was smelling blood. No, he wasn't smelling that. And you and you didn't have no white bleach holes on your shirt either. So again, maybe his shirt was white. No. You no, saw the color of his shirt? I did. Anyway, Mike. So I might be lying. But anyway, I know the boy's lying. So good job, Jesse. You got away with that one. Uh, good job, Chicago police, for effing it up and making yourself look stupid once again. If the glove didn't fit, you must have quit. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Uh, <laughs> it's a rare condition in this, this day, day and age, age to read any good news on, on the newspaper, newspaper page. <laughs> Ah, shit, I can't what stand else is in the So what else is in the news? <laughs> As you guys know, we reported last week that Wendy Williams came on her show and admitted that she has been living in a sober house because right, she's been right. suffering with um, relapses pretty right. much of alcohol and, you know, possibly prescription drugs and things like that. From her back. Either. Well, allegedly, drunk Wendy Williams oh, no. was rushed to the hospital after her husband's <laughs> alleged mistress gave birth to the baby. The sober house not so sober is it? Nah, so while Wendy was <laughs> trying to get right, Kevin was trying to get right too. Mm, so what do, you, what, what do you think? I just, listen, she know what she got. Let me tell you something about a woman. A woman know what type of they got. And she's been trying to deal with it and live with it. Probably one for keeping the family together. She's got a son she didn't want you know, him to leave and want to keep them there. And she was from what allegedly accepting of this relationship as long as the boundaries But the was issue came in when, when he crossed the boundary. No. What? The issue came in when it became public. Absolutely. She dealt with it on in private. In private right. Exactly. But right. when we all found out then, she became a different version of yeah. who she portrayed herself to be. And the and reason why was is me and Big Cav. Yeah, and, yeah. But the reason why is because you <laughs> exposed that again. But, <laughs> but the reason why that was such an issue is because she's always got her mouth on people. You cannot and clearly Kevin always got his mouth on people. <laughs> Congrats. Congratulations to Kevin and his new baby. mistress on any baby. I guess. Congrats to little Kev on his new little sibling. sister, brother, whatever. 
basically. This is awful. This is an awful mess. Yeah, like, it, it's a in damn real shame. Life. But good luck, Wendy. We hope you get sober eventually and soon. Uh, we are praying for your quick recovery. Um, so look, so when people say that, down. when people say we praying for you, they not. Do we pray for yeah, you? Now look, okay, this is what I go okay, do. Okay, if okay. I say, if I you tell you I'm praying for you, <laughs> at the end of the night, like maybe at the end of the week, I gotta do I'm like God. Prayer. Everybody that I said I, I was gonna pray for, that's put them right there, yes, right now. Yes, right now. And that is that's why you cover it. Just remember, oh, I said I was gonna pray for some people. Cause so he everybody. remember everybody. He do. Yeah. He be like, oh, you said Wendy and the other boy and the people you saw in the street and that man you gave that bread to. So I'm gonna be praying for you. So right, good job, kid. Yeah. Good job, kid. Anything else in here? Absolutely not. Wow. Well, so when we come back, let's do the question of the day. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with the question of the day so we can come back and talk about it. So the question of the day had a, gave a lot of attention to my Facebook, and I want to know what you guys think. So I need to know from you guys, when is the best time or when should you stop entertaining others when you are pursuing a relationship or you're in a relationship? Which means, when is it time to cut off communication with other people like unnecessary flirting and going out and hanging out and talking to people that your significant yeah. other or the person is doesn't know about. When is that? When should those things, when should those ties be cut off? Tell me. Think about it. Let's talk about it. It's T. Marie Radio Show right here on Power 108.5. Watch my shoulder work. Watch my shoulder work. Watch, my, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Watch that shoulder work. Hey, guys. Amy. I know that's right, Chrissy. I'm telling you. Who get me started? Who I just gotta breathe. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play Ooh, it. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Chrissy. Hey. Hey, Troy. Hi, Dre. Hey, Kawanis. Hey, Katrina. Katina. Katina. Wow. Oh, it's Katina. Really? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi, Katina. Deneen. I swear, Deneen, I ain't forgot. I just been crazy because I really need you, honey. Like, for real, for real. And hi, Quentin and Jet. Tina said, I think they overreacted and realized that all he did was lie, which is true. And if you lock people up for lying, everyone better be locked up. I mean, locked up and don't let me out, Tina. You ain't never lied. Yeah, that is the truth. Hi, Amon. Hi, Melissa. Bernice, thank you, baby, for purchasing the book. Hi, Genesis. Love you guys. Just go share. Hi, Tamita. Hi, Moni. Go share this. Go, go share it. Go, go share it. Oh, my y'all sitting here. Go ahead and order the book, too. But then let me www. Okay. www. Dot no boyfriends. Dot com. It's a pre-order. I'm going to start giving, like, pieces of the book. I, this is the part that I wish. I can't wait for it to come out. Because every time we're, like, right now in the book is being processed, we're doing, like, filler stuff. Filler. Filler stuff. So there's some things that I wanted to do with the book that didn't, wasn't just a read. It's kind of like some homework type of things or some things that you oh need to God. do. Or to help yourself to get to a certain place. So every time I get a filler question and I get to go to the place with this book, I just get crazy. So last week it was uh, what is the intention versus versus intentional, and this week was about purpose and why you're dating. And I love being able to answer this question. So when this book comes out, it's going to be something that really is geared for women. But I promise you, as a purpose dating person period woman or man it's going to be something that you really can go back and refer to because everything about having a relationship you want the key is to have a relationship you want is not to accept the things that you don't and that's what we do a lot of times we accept a lot of the actions and the things and the ways and the you know things that we would not accept but now we're trying to make this specific relationship work. You know what I'm saying? So when we stop doing that, we will really be able to get the relationship we want because we will allow the person that has those attributes that we want be in that space because that person is not giving you that. He or she is blocking a space right now. Blocking the space is someone who wants to love you the way that you want to be loved and deserve to be loved wants to come in. So until you remove that person or allow that person to walk out, you know, we keep holding on to things because we've been there so long or we're so familiar with it or we don't want to hurt the person's feelings. And we keep holding on to that thing that we know is not good for us. And then we're suffering underneath because we're not really happy in that space. So right now is the time that you have to become really intentional 
to yourself and, and talk to yourself and help yourself realize this is what I want. I deserve this. And so in order for me to have what I want, now I have to stop accepting the things that I don't. So let this be okay. the year that you start really doing things intentional and on purpose. And if you really want that love, if you really want that person, if it's a man or a woman, pull out and remove anybody that's blocking that thing and go ahead and leave that space open for that person that can give you what you want to come in because I promise you God is preparing them for you and he's also preparing you for them. So let's, let's open that up so you can just live in a happy place. Is it time? My bad. Y'all know I got up. Hey, y'all, we back. We back. Hey, we back. We, hey, 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 we back. Hey, 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 we back. Uh, uh, we back. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we back, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> y'all know I go too far. I ain't mad no more, Shine. Thank you for tuning in. Power 108.9, the TV radio show with my boo Q. Q of the 70s. <laughs> I wish I could really get a close up with the nigga out of my dinner shirt. And it, it be, the only thing that's missing is chest hairs. I swear. Oh, I got. He got 17. And uh, yeah, they're cross. There's a couple of them right over here. I swear, y'all, this is ridiculous over here. But I love him. Thank you, Q. And it's that denim. Got that denim and them yellow. I wish I could see it. Like, this is truly a 70s look. Really? Yes. Like, straight up. Hold on. Let me see. Like, he got on the yellow. Look! I need me my colors. <laughs> All you need to do is. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> 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 All you need to do is pop like Nah, <laughs> my mother can pop like the oh hell out of this stuff. Oh my god, I'm telling you, this is ridiculous. All the things you do right now is pop like it. It is a wrap around here. Really? So, yes, dude. You look like rerun, cuz, and run a run. <laughs> oh we run around all this electronics. I throw some water on you. <laughs> oh, look at run and run. Run and run. Yes, I look like rerun, look, look, rerun, look. look cuz, and run a run. What's happening now? Yes. <laughs> What's happening again? <laughs> and again. Oh my god. Oh my god. So yes, what's this? This yes. So yes. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. So I asked Q the question. Yeah, we back. We back. So I was asking Q and I asked everybody the question of the day. So the question of the day is when is hey, it a good time? <laughs> when is it a good time to start to stop entertaining, quote unquote, entertaining others? Uh, when you're pursuing a re relationship or in the early stages of a relationship or relationship, when do you stop pursuing others? When is that time? I need to know when is that time. So Q, you're you're dating someone and you're I'm not, I'm not saying anybody. you're currently dating, I'm putting you in the scenario. Okay? Hypothetically, oh, hypothetically speaking, you're yes. dating somebody. Right, you're dating somebody when and do you're taking you the yeah, you're right, you're thinking of becoming intentional. When do you stop dealing with everybody else? When do you stop entertaining other people well for me if I am talking to you and I feel like okay you got a little something that this other person may not have mm -hmm. and I decide that I want to pursue something a little further right we first gotta have that conversation because I'd be damned if I'm about to knock out all my hoes and <laughs> get rid of my team okay. I don't have no hoes but I'm no just team. Saying, if I get rid of my team mm -hmm. of people mm -hmm. and you still got yours. Okay, okay. You know, so we need to have that conversation and say, okay, well, this is what we are. This is what we're doing. You know, okay. and let's go ahead and just kind of let everybody else go. You right. know, some people like to <clears throat> keep their little apps right. just in case. Yeah, people got these hidden apps that you don't know about. I promise you that. Christian Mingles. <laughs> I'm talking about, there's even apps now you can hide to, to hide other messages that make it look like you. Don't have messages, but you really do. And another, oh, oh yeah, they got all kinds of stuff. Listen, I promise you they do. So, so it's after you have had the conversation, right? Is that what you're saying? Yes. So after you have to have the conversation. You can't decide on your own mm -hmm. that all right, I'm about to cut everybody else off. Okay. And you don't know what the other person's intentions are. So okay, maybe they just want to hang out with you for a free meal. <laughs> that would be who? I don't know nobody like that. So I'm just saying. So let's just say, right? Let's just say hypothetically, you um, make the decision, right? Uh-huh. And y'all done it. Y'all made the decision that y'all going to be exclusive. Is it a violation if somebody steps out and still continues to do that thing? So we've decided to be exclusive. Decided have, to be so exclusive. that means that we've decided to what, forsake all others <laughs> at this moment? 
yeah, I mean, during the day. Yeah, so phase. you decide to be exclusive. Like you, you like you know what, boo? It's me and you. We're pursuing this thing. Let's do it. Well, now the thing is, if you step out while we're in this, now guess if let's say you say you having sex or anything, but you're entertaining. You're having conversations. You might do a little flirt. You might get a couple of texts. You might send a couple of texts. Is that a violation? For me, yes. For me to to have it done to me. Wait, yeah. wait, see, double standard. Do it. See, why are you tripping? <laughs> right, it didn't even mean that. I mean, it's just a text. I ain't even hit it. Right, that's what, right. I ain't even. Yeah, hit it. we ain't even get nothing. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I could have sort of. I could have got some. I ain't hit it. Up. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm I'm weird in situations it's like it's selfish it's selfish because most people that's why most people, i am with self yeah right most now. people would do it and think it's okay until it's done to them a lot of people will be like it's no big deal it's innocent mm. it's you know we you know we really weren't even doing nothing we was just doing a little you know innocent talking flirting oh you know she but, ain't nobody until the person turn around and does it to them people like attention mm -hmm. people want to admit it but people like attention like right. i know a person like me um, when it comes to relationships, right. that's that's one of the things that I want. Right. I want that time and attention and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And if I feel like I may not be getting it from you, then you know it may come from somewhere else. So the thing is, if this person steps out, then y'all got to be open enough to have the conversation. Well, okay, you did this. Why? Okay, so you need attention. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this: it's hard to date a person. A no, it's hard to date a person who needs attention. And let me tell you why. Because I don't need it, it. I like it. No, well, even that. Yeah. That's me. Even just a person who likes attention, because we have a tendency to go get what we like. So if you not feel like you're not, even if you feel like you're with somebody and the person cares about you, a person that likes and needs attention needs it from anything and anywhere. So even if you're giving it to them, the very moment they lack a little bit of it, they'll step outside and go get somebody else or go Same get the attention. Sex. And that's right. So you have to kind of know the type of person that you're dealing with. Like, I decided <coughs> that a person that needs attention is not the person for me. Because you need attention. But, but no, I don't need attention. I need to be cared for. You I need, need to, to know. I, I need to eat. <laughs> but I need to know that you got my back at all times. I don't even need to be around you all the time like that. So we kind of in a relationship. <laughs> right? Like, this, this might be my longest relationship. Yeah, like it is. In five years. Yeah. Oh, this, in April. Almost. So yeah. I'm the person. I'm the type of person who doesn't need to be because I'm enough for me, and I'm enough to if I'm with somebody that I don't have to be around other people Absolutely. to entertain me. So right. I'm a, I'm secure enough with that that I just don't have to be around that. And then some people aren't. So I don't need the person who needs to be cheered on by everybody else that doesn't appreciate being cheered on by the person they got. Uh, but the thing is, only if they're being cheered for by the person that they're with. If I'm not being I'm cheered I'm on by the person that I'm with, then I'm gonna But here's want the thing, y'all all else. those people who need all the attention need to be cheered for almost twenty four hours a day. I got stuff I got to do. <laughs> no, I just just show me something. No, I, I don't no, need it all the, day, every no, day. No. But give me a little something. No, 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 yeah, but okay, I done cheered you on twelve hours, sixteen hours. You be like, you know what? He ain't cheer me on for eighteen hours. I'm gonna go let the other bird cheer me on because you know she too busy or she but, busy. But it could also have to do with the person's security within themselves. Oh, absolutely. If you're insecure, a lot to do with then, that. then that could be an issue. And here, transparent moment, I was an insecure person. Yeah. And a I lot of people... wanted attention from wherever yes, I could get it. And a lot of people who are insecure, those those are the people who go out and do those yes, things. Yes, I said it, guys. Yes, yes. You, and those are people. the people who go out and do those things. So you have to know this about a person right. prior to dealing with them. Because you can never do enough for an insecure person. An insecure person has to be secure within themselves. You can never do enough, be enough, add enough, subtract. You just can't be enough for a person who's insecure. Right. Because they're going to have to go and find it from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And until they become secure within themselves, you're going to be out there trying to prove yourself and prove your loyalty and give all this attention until you and satisfy them. And you'll enough. never be able to fill them up because a person that has to fill up themselves before they even go out and start doing other things. So cute. I hope you're full sure. now. Are you full yet? No, I'm not. I'm uh, single. So you're not full? My arm's too short to box with God. I can't get that water. <laughs> not the water, the oh. little thing. Damn, I'm not <laughs> it. So get me to go fight your phone. When we come back, y'all, RB, Sensation Sandy is in the building. So keep it locked. It's the Marie Radio Show right here on Power 8.9.
Mm. How are you, Sandy? Bless the holy faith. Good evening. Good evening. Hey. Good evening. Hey. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. What's up, man? How you doing? How you, King? Eddie. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. So this man just came back from a little piece of vacation. How's that man go? That was my hair all crazy. Okay. <laughs> In the Only fish. people who go to Mexico can say that because we would still say Mexico. 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 That's how you know you ain't been nowhere. What do you mean Mexico? Mexico. You a lie. You say Mexico. Hey, T. Marie, I holler at y'all. I'm about to hit. I'm about to go to L. A. <laughs> always. You always in L. A. That's your favorite spot. Not to be for real. Not. Not, not to, to be for be. real. Mm -hmm. In real life, I'm not there. to be. Uh, I love you. Uh, so how's everything? I'm blessed. I'm blessed up. Yes, Same I love it. So how's the last 20s? Seven days, man. Last 27 days, man, it's been awesome. The music is, is uh, resonating. Millions nice. of streams. Uh, almost at a half a million on the visual. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um, going radio soon with okay. a new single, which I'm excited about. I haven't had radio in a while. Like, I haven't nice. had a radio budget this time. So, okay. Um, yeah, and then uh, tour is in the works. We should have the first, like, yeah, okay. No, I know, I know. Oh, okay. It's just off the record. Yeah, we're off the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still turning up. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. okay. I can't complain. So I just took a little vacation. I've been going since January. Nice. So I was like fatigued as hell. So. I know you're exhausted. And the rest of the year about to be perfect. Yeah, so I was like, let me take a, yeah. I had like a little minute surgery, and then I went to Mexico for a week, and now I'm ready to work. That's good. The rest of the year. How? I don't want no one time off. I'm good now. I don't know if I want to oh, shoot this or said, zip this. Said, well, what's that? What y'all want? Yeah, this is uh, moonshine. 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 Oh, that's always the reaction. That's like, that's like, yeah, moonshine. Yeah, this is moonshine. I swig it. You want yeah, to swig? Yeah, you want to swig? We'll get you a glass. Hold on. It looks oh, like water. Like, yeah, water. Like, yeah water. that's I'm what like we do. Oh, okay. Moonshine. <laughs> yeah, moonshine, straight like that. I'm on my IG live. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Hey, Sammy's IG live. Yay. Hey. What's going on, y'all? Yay. What y'all got poppin'? Swag! That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Moonshine. Yes, honey. We do it like that. How long we got? Right now. Oh, okay. You said he look like you. <laughs> huh. Oh, that one's good, though. And these are the grades. Uh, hey, we back at Timory Radio Show right here on Power 108.9. Thank you for staying locked, for sharing, for tuning in. Tuning in looks sweet. Tuning in. Tuning in. Turning in. Turning in. <laughs> I appreciate you guys a lot here with Q in the building. With Hi, T in Q. the building. Hey, yeah. What's up? Yep. Yeah. So, you know, this is the moment we've been talking about, pushing, waiting for. Y'all know him. Y'all love him. Been loving him for a long time. But since since 99. 99. Right. 1999. A long time. Long time. Give it up for seven. Woo! Woo! Thank y'all for having me this evening. We appreciate you taking time out to get here. Of course, of course. I mean, you come. doing so many major things. Absolutely. Good, man. Oh yes, my God. Good. So, 26 day, 27 days yeah. after the release of your latest project. Everlasting. Everlasting. Yeah. How's it been? It's been awesome. Awesome. Uh, the feedback has been phenomenal. Um, this project was like legit the most transparent I've ever been. I'm a very vulnerable, transparent person. Right. Just in general. Uh, especially via social media. So, I felt like... Um, music, of course, musically was where I owed it to all my consumers and Sammy Lovers to be just brutally honest. Right. You know what I'm saying? The good, bad, the happy, sad, the flaws, um, the unfortunate mishaps that I've gone through as a man in relationships. I gave it to them. And for them to really embrace the music and my uh, triumphs and my, fall, and my flaws and failures, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm super excited. You know what I'm saying? Because I was a little nervous putting it all out there like right. that. Because being vulnerable, it's, it's difficult. Yeah, well, because you put yourself in a yeah. very uncomfortable space to be judged. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, to, and people it, take advantage Yeah, and of if that. it's not receptive, then you can go into a little cubby yeah. hole again. So for me to just really be embraced like that, uh, I'm humbled by it. And I'm glad that the music is relatable. And, and, yeah. and people can connect to it, not just on a uh, trendy enjoyment level, but on a spiritual level. You and, know what I'm and saying? Like, I've had the opportunity to... Come to the um, listening party. Yeah, I had the yeah, opportunity to when I was crazy that night. Exactly. <laughs> um, oh, and your birthday. Yep. yep. You know, I missed all of this. You did. Stuff. You know, but it's it okay because you was raising the young face, so it's all right. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I had the opportunity to listen to quite a few tracks on the app. Well, all of them actually. I'll mm -hmm. tell you which one is my favorite. Okay. Player. But um, I just feel like. Everybody can relate to something on there. You're giving, it's like you're giving men the okay to be vulnerable. Yeah, it's the, uh, I call it the barbershop conversation. Mm -hmm. We're in the barbershop, we talk about 
real things, emotional things, vulnerable things, transparent things, but we don't feel masculine and tapping into our feminine. Um, I've been reading this book called The Ways of the Superior Man, and it's, mm. that's a, it's, it's like an amazing, amazing <laughs> read. Because okay. um, it teaches you how to go against your natural manly instincts. So, you know, just for example, we want to fix things. If you came to me with date and you said I had a horrible day today, I'm trying to figure out why you had a horrible day. That might not be what you need from me. What you really might need is just a simple hug. Like, I don't know what happened to Damn, you at work, but I, I love you and I appreciate you and I let you know I'm here for you. Yeah. That's not our natural thing. Our natural thing is who's bothering you, what's the co-worker's name, what did she say or what did he say. I like we want to get yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that <laughs> finding, finding that balance, right. you know what I'm saying? So musically, I wanted to give men a soundtrack if they have a hard time expressing themselves because it is deemed as weak or right. sensitive to show compassion and empathy to your woman. I have I no problem being that. Love that because yeah. I've been looking and I've been talking about who has the, the the music or who has the manual to teach men how to be men and be okay with being yeah. that, that men don't have to be hard but to how to understand what women need because yeah. we're always talking about telling women what men need. Mm -hmm. All the books are about what telling women what men need. But who tells men what women need? So how yeah. did you even decide that this was the thing that you needed to do? Um failing in relationships. <laughs> Ding. That's that's it. Uh, I love love so much. You know what I'm saying. So to 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 be so in love with love and the idea of being one and yeah. getting married and having kids like that's for some reason is like my happy ending, right? Mm -hmm. I'm so wired for that. And to fail a few times mm -hmm. at that made me look at myself. Like before I got involved in another relationship, I had to really say, all right, Sammy, where are you coming up short? Why do you feel you need validation from a multitude of women? Why why is it that one woman can't complete you? Question well, of the day. a woman is not supposed to complete me though. I'm supposed to be self validated. I'm supposed to be whole by myself. And I'm she so just comes self, in and, and then she just enhances it. Absolutely. So I, so my, my, my woman won't be my happy place. I'm already happy. She can be my happier place. Mm. I don't need a woman to give me peace. I've I already had my now. own peace. <laughs> she <laughs> I can, can give me now. more peace. Yeah. 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 And now that I realize that I'm supposed to pour into her, she's supposed to pour into me. That way no one's feeling drained in the relationship. It's just an overflow of love. So where's the music? Where's the soundtrack for that? I gave it to you in Everlasting. It's called Everlasting, it. guys. Tell them on all your music yes. streaming platforms. Yes. And yeah. I appreciate that because there's so many men who, who used to, just like you said, they're wired to believe that they're supposed to get all this validation from women, and that's what makes them yeah, men. because everything we do, we do for women. From from the kind of car we invest in. Yeah, we like the car, but we yeah. like to have the nice oh, car absolutely. to make the women look. We right. get the haircuts, and we get fresh, and we put on a fresh, fresh outfit to get women yeah. uh, attention, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, but at the core of relationship, you would never satisfy one woman while trying to satisfy a plethora. Because you're only giving pieces of yourself. To everybody hmm. and I can't do that I've tried I, I epically have failed time and time and time again of trying to give a girl like 85% mm -hmm. right. I get this girl five and then I got ten more for somebody else right everyone's unhappy because you? I haven't given one 100% yeah and in, in essence I'm unhappy with right. self because I'm one man you know what I'm saying I can't scatter myself so you know, going through ups and downs and really looking at myself and was like, Sam, you full of shit. Sam, you need to take <laughs> time out to, that. to right. no, seriously. Right. Like, I had to really, like, be disgusted with some of the things that wow. I was. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and understanding that those demons are forever around, so I can never let my guard down. Every day I got to wake up and check myself. Every day I got to swerve and find a way to kill certain things about right. me that I don't like so I don't hurt the next. So can you say that if you are the person that never gets disgusted with how you are, you will never change? Yeah, because you haven't taken taken a chance to people when people do wrong or cheat, mm -hmm. they like to point the finger. Well, I'm, I was lacking in compassion. Yeah. She wasn't touching me no more. She wasn't telling me I was this right. So it gives you like this pass mm -hmm. for the woman that's willing to fill that void. That's an excuse, though. It is. You know what I'm saying? So I think if you never look at yourself in the mirror and you never really just t chisel at the things you don't like, because we're not perfect, we'll never be perfect. So I don't even strive to be right. per perfection. I just try strive to be a better Sammy every day mm -hmm. and really understand my issues and and, and address those. I've, I've gone to therapy. I've talked to like a real therapist yes. about my problems. Like you know what I got? This is a person that is unbiased. We have no emotional attachment. You don't know me. And a lot of people are, feel like that's frowned upon. No, go seek help. Go talk to somebody about your problems mm -hmm. and your trials and your battles with self. Because if you don't, then you'll never change. You'll just keep living a life of redundancy. 
And time after time again, you'll be in a three-year relationship that will one day plummet. Right. You'll be in a four-year relationship that will hit the wall. I'm tired of doing that. I'm Damn. 32, man. Like, I can't keep... And I really... I, before I blame an ex, I look at the things that I did wrong. Yep. And the way that I reacted to certain things that I could have gone a different route about. Being a musician, how much do you think the music plays in adding to this idea that cheating is normal or that cheating is the thing that men have to go through and hurt so many times before they get to their um, right place? Yeah, I, unfortunately, I'm not going to say that it's normal. You know what I'm saying? But I will say this. I wouldn't be who I am today and I wouldn't be who I am becoming if I hadn't gone through the things I've gone through. I don't Absolutely. believe in... Um, I hate to say it, and, and this is good, bad, happy, sad, uh, being monogamous, mm -hmm. uh, or committing infidelity. Everything is by design. So I wouldn't be able to create this album if I didn't go through these things that I've gone through in the 14 years of me like dating out here in this world. Right? Right. I started dating when I was 17. The album's called Everlasting because my mom told me every relationship, good or bad, happy or sad, one night stands and flings, will have an everlasting effect mm -hmm. on the man I become. So I wrote about not just my ex, but every... Thing that's impacted right. me as far as my views on relationships and you know trying to coexist with the opposite sex so yes i did have to go through that you know i don't and i'm not purposely trying to trample hearts to become this mm -hmm. this is just the cards that was dealt to me and some cards i've misplayed and i played the wrong way but um i believe you know your story can be ugly but you can still come out beautiful at the end of the day, so damn, it's like real singers are like philosophers. I know, like, I like, love it. Damn, I need to. I, we gotta keep talking about this. We gotta keep talking about this. So when we come, and in, what else? We're gonna ask Sammy the question. The, of the question day. of the day, and we gotta talk about more because I need to understand really because I know you you missed the first part of the question. Uh huh. What does music that we listen to have to do with? Oh it? yeah, well, so we're gonna come back. Yeah, language. we're gonna talk about yeah. it. What how what role does it play in the way yeah, we're loving these game. days? So it's Tim Marie Radio Show. Keep it locked, you guys. Go ahead and share the page. It's Team Marie Radio Show. We'll be right back. Thirty-two, right. 32 man. I'm <laughs> about to be fifty. Thirty-two. That's a blessing, man, bro. No doubt. That's man. a blessing. Thirty-two. You, man. Thank you. Thank you, brother. That, that moonshine on me right there, bro. Oh uh, man, thank you for the moonshine. <laughs> 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 Just the smell of it. That grown man stuff, right? It's the watermelon. Yeah. Oh, get that picture. Uh, everlasting. Mike. Everlasting. Oh, yeah. Boom. Get that picture. Yeah, hold on. Because I'm about to take this. Hold on. It's a watermelon. Yeah, it don't taste bad. Hold on. Yeah, don't taste bad. <laughs> ready? All right. You got to end. You go for it. You know you got that portion on. <laughs> Come on now. I know. You really need to be. Shut your ass. I know. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. I'm going to get my leg down. Mm. <sighs> That was good and good. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing you. head all in the way. I can't hear because my head did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was moving back so I can get in the back. I understand the problem. I know. Hey, Eddie. What? I got a big head too. Don't be on our side real quick. What you mean? Really? That's what we're doing? We're throwing me under the bus and letting it back over me? That's what we're doing? Ask them. Because big heads got to stick together. All right. Shut up. Oh, How much is. we got? Who took my knife? You trying to cut me? Trying to cut me. Go, go to it. What are we doing? Yeah. Uh, uh, eight. Okay. I'm going to save this live. We're talking about save this one. <laughs> what happened? Uh, let me know when we come. Where you going? You gotta use the bathroom? Oh, you wanna do a short break? I mean, let's do it. Yeah. I'm waiting for. Sure you don't have to move it because you moved it. And so everybody was in there at one time. Yeah, so we, yeah. I nope. think y'all see this. You turn yours that way while I'm turning this over. There you go. There you go. Now mine is great. Is yours yeah, right? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're fine. Yeah, I just want to make sure he's in there, so that's cool. Alright, let's take it out when we're ready. And Bo Tally want to hear the music. Oh, it's, it should be on there, isn't it? Oh, you should be on there. No, Bo, go to Facebook. Go to uh, my Facebook. and it's on Which there. one is this playing? He can't hear oh, it. Oh, you can't even hear it. You got to give it to him. What's that? So no, this, is the, this is the one I like. That got me down the road. And you know you can't play it for more than 30 seconds because Facebook. Oh, yeah, 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 stupid. 
That's the name of what? Stupid. Oh, I didn't know to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. We're back, you guys. <laughs> Listen, we can some of, on some of the pages you'll be able to hear some of the music, and we're gonna definitely add it to. Uh, you can hear it on Power Power One Eight Point Nine's page. You can hear it on Q's. Is this our show page? So we uh, play no, music. My, this yours. You so yeah. selfish. <laughs> he didn't even say, he didn't even share it on the hour. He shared it on his. But um, this was. Q said this was his favorite song by Sandy. Stupid. 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 Yeah. So let's talk about that. The title itself, like, I could say a whole bunch about it. But let's talk about where that came from and, uh -huh. like, what, what's it about? Uh, so two years ago, 2017, um, I was... I went through a lot of breakups with this one girl. Like, we would break up and then yeah, we back together. And then, yeah, we yeah. would go back and forth, right? Uh -huh. and, uh, but this particular time, I really was, like, messed up about it because it was... It wasn't about me cheating them. She didn't cheat. We just was clashing so mm -hmm. much. And uh, she kind of like left. And I let her leave because I wanted my peace back. But I didn't want us to be apart at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I was just going on tour with Tank for the Savage Tour. And men cope, or, and let me speak for myself first, but most men I found, we cope a little differently with breakups. Like, especially when we didn't get closure or we weren't ready for it to end. So we try to, like, mask our hurt by partying. We drink a little more, we indulge with women, and that's what I did. Like, mm -hmm. I went on a savage tour, and I became a little a savage. savage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, 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 literally, and, did yeah, you? Yeah, and I had fun. I was, like, having fun, and I, I didn't realize what I was doing until, like, in hindsight. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn, I was really kind of, like, in this mode because I was hurt. Right. Because now I'm wondering, like, damn, is my girl moving on? Is, mm -hmm. is she sleeping with somebody else? We suffer, we suffer from those thoughts. Uh, right. Sometimes it's self-inflicted, you know right. what I'm saying? So right. uh, the song Stupid is about tonight, I'm going to go out and I'm going to just live reckless and depending on how I feel again, I might do it in the morning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Uh, so yeah. it's just stupid. It's just, just the way that instead of picking up the phone and calling her and telling her, you know, I, I want to work at it. Right. We act like it's all good and we go out and we do stupid things. And you're mm -hmm. willing to lose that because of it, right? Cause did you, are, are you saying you never got back together? No, we did. did. We tried again, but I mean, when it's, when it's not meant to be right. it's just not meant to be right. so how many times did y'all get together and break up probably in three years three times yeah so you know what i'm saying it's just it's just and, and i've learned to leave things broken me i'm a fixer though so mm -hmm. i go the extra mile that's why i say if, I, if we got to go to counseling cool if, if we gotta if it's more me if i'm the toxic one let me right try to fix me if it's you, then I need you to address you. You know what I'm saying? But I do try to give it my all before I initially, like, entirely let it go. So after three years, though, when did you, or when did you both decide, like, all right. We well, at the end, it was kind of like me. I just refused. I took eight months to really, again, learn how to sleep alone. Uh, I didn't go on no dates. Um, and it wasn't like a, a, a wall that was up. It was mm -hmm. more like, all right, I just got to really work on myself. Right. Not to say she was perfect at all, but forget her flaws and her her darkness. Let me work on mine. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I was, I was becoming dark in right. a relationship. I really just wasn't happy and I really didn't like the same that I saw every day. And if I'm with somebody that's same making same the worst thing. of me come out, then that's not my wife. That's not my equal. And it's best for me to leave this thing broken. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I pray that she's happy, but I found happiness. I have self-peace. Yeah. I have no problems with nobody. I still have mad love and respect for her um, and her son. You mm -hmm. know, I was a stepdad in the mm -hmm. relationship also. So that also was a hard thing for me. To When I break up with the mother, right. by default, you know, the child, the child, too. And that was, that was the first Sammy time. Sammy is me. Yeah, that was the me first time Sammy. I had to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, it was the first time I had to deal with that. So much, like, I'm a little scarred from that point. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't have anything against a woman having a child, but I am a little timid now. Right, because I'm like. that. I love you both. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like I still wanted a relationship with, with, with little man. Yeah. And us doing that, me trying that rather, got me and her back together when we still were right. no good for each other. Hey, oh, this, mm -hmm. oh my God, he's speaking to me. You know what so, Sammy, let yeah. me say the one thing that you said to me that you not said to me, but what you just said. Yeah. You had to learn to leave things broken. broken. Mm -hmm. Because the, my problem, too, is I want to fix, fix everything, everything, leave it in, like better than I found it. Yeah. That's my problem. Yeah. How did you learn to cope with being like, you know what, this is okay? I'm a spiritual man. So let me say this. It's not our duty to be God. Mm. We are vessels that can do godly things and godly acts, but you can't work miracles on somebody. You know what I'm saying? You can't come and just fix my mama issues. I can't come fix your daddy issues. That's not my duty. My duty is to starve your insecurities as much as I, even if I didn't plant them, let me starve them. Let me not feed them and give them more life. And if I know I'm being the best I could be and it's just still not 
enough for you. Mm -hmm. I have to accept that my best is not enough for you. And that's really what I got to. I got to a point where I had peace that night knowing, you know what? I did the best I could do. Right. This is the best me that I have to offer, and it's just not working. And I got, I got tired of, again, becoming dark. And right. I, I don't feel like I should be miserable to make you happy. Right. That's unfair. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I just started to feel in the relationship. God sent you. So look, let's go. <laughs> so let's talk about, because the one question I asked you before, the music that's today's music, uh, what we're listening to, what we're hearing, what our kids are hearing, or what even adults of my age are, are hearing, mm -hmm. the sounds the, and the, the messages. How much does that play into the way we perceive, go about doing, how we see relationships? How, what does that do for us? Well, music is the universal language. I tell people that. That's why I thank God so much for giving me the gift. Mm -hmm. It's such a powerful influence. Everyone in this room speaks some type of music, some type of genre. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be R&B. It can be gospel. It can be hip-hop, country, alternative rap, right. hip-hop. It's just we all speak music. So as an artist, I take accountability for the content that I create and that I put out there to the world. Because, um, you know, and that's why I talk about love so much. For some reason, like, love became, like, uncool. Mm -hmm. It's been, it's been, or, or just even if a man does fall short, right? At least be remorseful and sorry about it, opposed to trying to make a woman feel like this is just how it is. Right. No, nah, it's not that way. You know, you should honor queens. You should respect them. Um, if you do fall short, you should address yourself. Uh, be remorseful about it and make the mm -hmm. necessary changes to make it right. So, uh, as an artist, I owe it to myself and the consumers and supporters of mine to convey positive, uh, heartfelt music of substance. I, I, I hate listening to the radio, you know what I'm saying, because it, it yeah. sucks the life out of you. Yes, it it's does. It's one long song of whatever. BS. Yeah, right? <laughs> BS, really. And, um, you know, I, I do like being an independent artist because I'm able to create things for the soul. Yeah. I'm not chasing necessarily radio. I'm not chasing DJs. I'm not chasing the red tape of pleasing the A&Rs and then the CEO right. and these people who aren't necessarily musically inclined. Right. They're business savvy. They're business, and exactly. They, they get, you know, I don't have to play that politics game. So uh, we do have a responsibility as artists to create art. But did you mention, or was this off air, there's something about some radio coming up though? Yeah, I actually, so in this deal, you know, shout out to Gazi and Nima and my entire Empire family. I've been with them for the last three years. Nice. And uh, uh, this, everything to this album was just viral, just internet. Right. But this is the first deal that I've had in years where I have a radio budget. So that's yes. why I created records. Congratulations for that, that though. Yeah, that's so that's awesome. why I created records like Times 10 featuring Lil Baby or yeah. Stupid or Three Side or, you know, those records that's also, they mean something, but they have that commercial appeal. Right, absolutely. Because uh, radio is still very, very much so important. Yeah. Um, I don't think the fans understand how much money, how much effort it takes to have a radio smash. Right. But I do have a shot this time. So when I created Everlasting, I was excited because I'm like, I can create something that's still appealing to the masses. But still, you know, to the core of my Shooting Sammy, yeah, 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 and, and to my Sammy self and to my Sammy lovers out there, I'm not, where I'm not conforming and selling out. So I'm excited about that. Congratulations on that, though. Thank That's you, really man. big. We're looking Thank forward you. to that. Thank you. So 20 years in the game. 20. And you're still. Wait. I'm only 32. That's wow. Crazy. That's crazy. Only. It, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yeah. But you're still just as relevant today, right now, as you were in 1999. Mm. In 99. Mm. That's crazy. How? Uh, God's grace and mercy, of course. Um, the most loyal fan base on the planet, mm -hmm. because it's not easy to have like child stardom. Mm -hmm. Right. And then I went away for four years to go to high school. Came back in '05 and '06. They still embraced me. Then I went through a terrible, terrible departure from a business partner. That mm -hmm. I wasn't on hiatus, but I was underground. So for seven years, I was just throwing out free music, right. mixtapes, and EPs, and I was doing spot dates and just really trying to figure this thing out again. Going through the evolution. And then the and then I'm him. Yeah, yeah. And, and while I'm so while I'm gone though, I was becoming like this mm -hmm. beard and this hair. Yeah. And I'm saying, I got like 21 tattoos. Like this is just me expressing myself <laughs> as an artist, right? To the fans, they thought like I took a break, and then I came back a grown ass man. <laughs> but I was going through grown man things, <laughs> right? While underground, so to speak. And then uh, June 30th, three years ago, almost approaching uh, the shade room, post me singing in the crib, and I'm him was. The, the song that I was leaving on Instagram went viral, 4 million views in a few hours, and I ended up laying on a record deal mm. with Empire. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then, I've delivered a top five, a top two, a number one, everlasting debut at top two. So, and I'm independent. Like, I really, it's just social media driven. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the press run, and of course, uh, an amazing PR team and mm -hmm. marketing. But for the most part, it's just the internet that I've been using these last few years. But I've learned that 
from the seven years of being underground. Okay. I was on datpiff.com, live mixtapes, lime wire, if you was willing to take the risk to right. catch a yeah. lime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I, was, right. I, was, I was using all of these sites to get my music out right. there because I was a little spoiled. I was used to having a deal. Mm -hmm. They do everything. They fund everything. Nah, this was me this time. I had no deal. I didn't have no songwriters, no producers. I had to formulate my own team. So I think going through those trials and tribulations, uh, I was hitting in plain sight. When right. Shayroom posted me, they gave me millions again, like as far as followers, right. mm -hmm. uh, to be in front of and to showcase my talent. But I was doing those things for seven years. Yeah. I was wondering, like, what was so special about this one? But it was just my time again. It was yeah. just my moment again. And God was prepping me those seven years. Uh, and I was hidden and just in plain sight. So without the record deal, how does your money look different now, being able to not have to, you know, pay back A&Rs and videos and yeah, stuff? Yes, it's, all, it's, all, it's awesome. Um, now, let me say this. It took a lot of L's. I went, again, mm -hmm. seven years, I call it a tread in water. God never allowed me to drown, but I went under a couple times. Mm -hmm. uh, lost a car. Um, had to do a modification on my crib. Like, I know real life adult things that mm -hmm. I don't put on <laughs> nobody. I don't right. want nobody to go through what I went through. But I'm here and I made it. And now everything comes through me. I pay my manager. I pay my videographer. I pay my bodyguard. I pay my, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like nobody's cutting no checks. Nobody's saying yes to anything without me saying yes to it. I'm the boss of my own situation. Mm -hmm. And when I say boss, not like I tell people what to do. No, I'm in control of my own destiny. Right. I'm not going to entrust a, a human being with my career and my livelihood anymore. Last time I did that, here I am right. with zero dollars in the bank account, and the world didn't care about that. A and R's didn't give like this little sympathy uh, story on, or hear the story. I was right. like, oh, you know what? I empathize with this kid. He's still talented. <laughs> Let me give him a shot. Hell no. No. They move on to the next right. thing. So once I realized that it's just business with these people, and very few people truly care about Sammy Lee Bush Jr., um, it made me become a man for real. For real. it made me boss up. So. I'm in control of my own destiny. I bet on myself anytime. I'm not betting on nobody else, though. You know? And that's just the beauty yeah. of the beast. For real, for real. Because it wasn't pretty for quite some time. But these last three years have been awesome. My bank account is cool. My credit is good. I can go to Mexico. Yes, credit. Mexico and that's chill. right. Yep, that's what you did. That's exactly what you did. Yeah, and I, and I want more, though. You know, now what I've realized, too, and it, I was always a selfless person. I'm a giver. I take care of my family. A lot of my life, I take care of my mom when she needs me, my dad. I'm so blessed uh, to be able to do those things. But um, I'm not happy to everybody's winning. Like my immediate circle, if, I, if we all can't order steak and shrimp and we all can't take a trip to Tulum, right. I'm not working hard enough and smart enough. So now mm -hmm. I have this new fire now that I'm back off AK where I'm not clocking out no time soon because yeah. I need everybody around me to be straight. That speaks a lot about your character. We, we haven't asked you, but I'm going to go ahead and ask you the question of the day now so you can marinate on it when we come back. Mm -hmm. So we were talking earlier, I posted this on my, uh, on my social media, got so much attention. So the question of the day was, when do you stop entertaining others when you are pursuing or in a relationship well, with me, easy. yeah. So yeah. let's talk about that because some people don't know when. Yeah. Some people think you're supposed to do it until you get married, but let's talk about that when we come back. Sam is going to answer the question of the day. It's TV Radio Show right here on Power 108.9. Keep it locked. Yay! Yeah, yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, hardball. <laughs> Uh oh, what happened? Wi Fi, Wi Fi. Uh oh, Wi Fi. Yeah, Wi Fi. Oh, come on now. Hold on, hold on. We're playing Wi Fi right now. Why are we playing Wi Fi? Throw me the ball and watch what I do with it. We got Bow Wow in the house. Call me a little Sane. Little Wayne. Strike one. Strike two. Hey, <laughs> hey, Chris, what up, boy? <laughs> Ain't no fun like a game of hardball. When I step to the table, I feel the respect. They know I'm the only one type of dog. Damn, Damn. 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 They call me Little Sammy Sosa. Bubblegum cars on all the posters. Y'all know I wrote you when it's time to compete. On the field, on the court, over any hot beat to break. When you see you're throwing it right now, that's all I see going on. 
Game time, all I think about is bringing home the trophy If your crew's better than mine, you really gotta show me Really gotta beat me, really gotta trash talk Mistreat me and leave my squad back home Cause I don't lose too much Matter of fact, I ain't never lost at all When I'm playing hardball Hey, I, I ain't even got to get that shit That's that shit Oh my god <laughs> Alright, alright. I'm with it. Sam. Right. This is my son. How you doing, King? Sammy, man. Nice Very to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's crazy. I didn't know I remembered that. Now, <laughs> wow, get at me. <laughs> yeah, that was. It was you, Wayne. Me, Lil Wayne. Wayne Bow Wow, Lil Wayne. Wow. Jermaine Dupree. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> That's classic, right? Classic, bro. That was classic.